Police forces in the United States have been under fire after multiple incidents involving excessive use of force and racial profiling. Many departments are trying to combat their negative publicity by implementing new policies, but the efficiency is being questioned. Our correspondent Bianca Perez is now in the United States with the details. Excessive force used by police officers during demonstrations continue to drive heated discussions throughout the United States. On Monday morning, the settlement of a class action lawsuit in the Washington, D.C. District Court guarantees the rights of activists to express their beliefs without law enforcement repercussions and by limiting the force used by police during demonstrations, hoping to set a precedent for better police practices throughout the country. What we're seeing as people are taking to the streets across the United States, you see vastly unconstitutional violent conduct from the police. You see it in New York, you see it in Baltimore, you see it in Ferguson. And that, contact, that conduct by the police couldn't happen if these policies were in place. The number of recent events that have taken place across the country involving excessive force used by police officers and the criminalization of massive protests have heightened the need for citizens to speak up and take on class actions. And these are problems we now see in many other cities in the U.S., and so this could be a real model for other cities um, deal, dealing with problems and the need for people to speak out post-Ferguson and, and other horrible problems we've had in some of our cities. The blatant disrespect felt by minority groups in the hands of law enforcement has fueled protests and demonstrations. The protesters request a complete restructure of police forces across the nation. What we're seeing around the United States is, is this mass movement demanding police reform where the police have acted and acted from time immemorial with racist police violence against communities of color in the United States. But people are now rising up, black people, white people, people of color across the board standing together to oppose racist police violence and to demand reform. Although this lawsuit may seem as a small win in such a fundamental fight for rights, the question still remains whether this will resonate with the rest of the country and more states will begin to adopt the initiative. Bianca Perez, Telesur, Washington, D.C.